Number 10 on my most affordable list is Beverly. Beverly is a vibrant community with a population of approximately 43,000. It's a resort, a residential, and a manufacturing community. Nature enthusiasts will appreciate the numerous parks and five beautiful beaches found throughout the city. Beverly benefits from its strategic location, with Route 128 running from east to west, connecting the city to Interstate 95 and US Route 1 in Peabody. Beverly High School is 154th in Massachusetts, and the median sale price of a single-family home has grown by 13% compared to last year this time. And that's why you need to subscribe to my channel because I bring you all the details about Massachusetts. And by the way, my name is Nune. I help many of my YouTube viewers relocate to Massachusetts and find their homes, sometimes virtually. Sometimes they fly in for a day and we see six to seven houses. It can be overwhelming, I know, but we make it happen every time. Don't be shy, reach out to me. Winthrop is a town with a seven mile shoreline with views of the Atlantic Ocean to the east and the Boston skyline to the west. With a population of about 20 20,000 Winthrop is situated at the north entrance to Boston Harbor. Good thing about Winthrop is you are very close to the Logan Airport. And the bad thing about Winthrop is you are so close to the airport. As one of the oldest communities in the United States, Winthrop carries a rich historical legacy. Massachusetts Route 145 is the only state route and provides its sole connection to the mainland, so getting in and out of Winthrop may be challenging. The blue line of the MBTA subway system runs near the town with three stops located half a mile from Winthrop's city limits. You can also take a ferry across Boston Harbor. Winthrop has several beautiful beaches where you can enjoy the sun, the sand, and the refreshing ocean waters. In terms of real estate, the median home price in Winthrop is $679,250, showing minimal change compared to the previous year. There are different ways of defining which towns belong to North Shore, so I'm sure I will hear some criticism from people saying why is this town not included on this list. And if you're interested in a specific town, please reach out to me and I will be happy to give you that information. The town of Danvers has a population of about 30,000 and is 17 miles from Boston and is close to the beaches of Gloucester and Revere. It used to be called Salem Village and was part of Salem Witch Trials of 1692. Denver's is a local center of commerce, hosting many car dealerships and the Liberty Tree Mall. Interstate 95 and Massachusetts Route 128 both pass through the town. So when they say the real estate is local, it is super local because you'll see uh, in my video that different towns, I give you the prices this year compared to last year, the median home price. Sometimes it's the town has grown in popularity, sometimes it's the same, sometimes the home values have gone down, so it's super, super local. Revere is located approximately 5 miles from downtown Boston and has a population of about 65,000. We in Massachusetts think that we don't have many weather events besides winter blizzards, but one day in July of 2014 there was a tornado in and caused major damage to many buildings. It was the first tornado to hit Suffolk County since 1950. Revere Beach is the oldest public beach in the United States and the Revere Beach Boulevard, which is beloved by locals, is over three miles long. The MBTA Blue Line has three stops in Revere and terminates right here. US Route 1 and many state highways run through the city. Revere is another town that is not easy to get in and out of, but people who live here love the Revere Beach Boulevard and the proximity to the ocean. Some residents swim in the ocean every morning before work. Kind of like in Beverly, new buildings are sprouting like mushrooms in Revere as well and the beach and the boulevard are packed during the summer. Saugus is the next on my list of most affordable places on the North Shore. It is 9 miles northeast of Boston and has a population of about 30,000. US Route 1 passes through the town. By the way, this stretch of Route 1 is the main commuter route out of Boston for the North Shore region, heading towards the interchange of Interstate 95 and Massachusetts Route 128 in Linfield. It is kind of like the extension of I-95 into Boston. Saugus High School is 283rd in Massachusetts.
Peabody's population is about 55,000. It is 15 miles northeast of Boston, and Peabody started off as a farming community and then became a major center of New England's leather industry, which attracted immigrants from all over the world. The North Shore Mall is one of the region's largest shopping malls. The nearest commuter rail service is in Salem, with service to Boston's North Station. Peabody Veterans Memorial High School is 259th in Massachusetts. The historic town of Salem has been transformed into a residential and tourist area, offering a mix of rich history and modern attractions. Make sure to watch my video about Salem. Salem has a station on the commuter rail, and it had a decline in home prices of 8.75%. Salem High School is 269th in Massachusetts. The next one is Amesbury, with a population of about 20,000. Amesbury used to be a farming and mill town. Today, it is a mostly residential small city within an hour drive from Boston. If you want to take public transportation to Boston, you can. The station in Newburyport is about 10 to 15 minutes away. Lynn is the largest city in Essex County, with a population of 102,000. It is only 3.7 miles north of Boston. While it may have had a notorious past as the city of sin due to its historical reputation for crime, Lynn has been changing and growing and getting better. And number one on my list is Salisbury. Salisbury is a small coastal beach town on the border of New Hampshire with a population of about 10,000. It is home to the Salisbury Beach and Boardwalk and is a summer tourist destination. It borders Newburyport where you can find upscale restaurants and shopping options as well as family-friendly areas. The town lies along the northern end of Route 1. Triton Regional High School is 190th in Massachusetts. Salisbury had a major decline in home prices compared to last year as of a few days ago. Median sale price is 433000 If you like this video, watch my other videos about most affordable towns in Massachusetts.